Hey everyone, I am finally back and going to be launching a bunch of new videos here. So first off, I just want to say is about a month ago in the Facebook group, I posted some ideas for videos that people started to vote on. So if you guys are watching these videos, not yet in the Facebook group, get in there. Uh, there's a few conversations that go on. I'll share some other kind of quick tips there if I don't have time to make videos. And then again, I'll start putting polls out there. And it's just another resource for you guys instead of the YouTube channel. It's a little more, the Facebook group is a little more active. But right now I'm planning on launching at least one video a month. I'm going to try to do one every two weeks and just do redo some old videos and then keep you guys up to date on all of the new strategies I've been trying. All right. So I'm going to jump right in here. This one is category target campaigns. So I'm going to be totally honest. I am not 100% sure where these show up on the front end, but I try to, like, I wish I do a little digging and obviously we know on, on mobile is where we want to look, but it's, it's, I like to think of these as the new gift keyword campaigns. You're going to see in a second, these are very seasonal and I'm not keeping these running aggressively all throughout the year, I'm turning them on when I know the products are selling. So like right now, grooming is big in January. Grooming, health supplements, more food items do very well in January. Whereas December, it's gift items and stuff like that. So what people do is instead of typing in gifts or something, they start to shop by category. And you know, you can do this and then you go into a department, you know, you'll go to, um, headphones or something and you come to headphones and there'll be a whole category right here so again i don't see any sponsored ads here but i think on if i if i go to in ear like maybe this is this is what these ads are but give me a second here so what i'm what i'm talking about are category ads and we are running these for sponsored products and sponsored display so last month, this was more of my gift December, one of my seasonal accounts. So I turned these on. So last month, these category campaigns ran at 10% ACOS. Okay. And well, I've changed the budgets now, but the budgets were a little lower, a little higher. And what you want to do is you want it, you want to double team these. So you do sponsors, sponsored products and sponsored display. The biggest thing that I can say is don't put these in with your competitor targeting. So a lot of you guys are going to say, oh, well, I have a sponsored products, um, product targeting campaign, and I can also add a category in there. These categories, their clicks are so much cheaper that if you put them in with your main sponsored product competitor targeting campaign, they're going to use up all your budget. So that's the biggest thing that I've seen. And I have made that mistake is where you'll launch that you'll go after competitors and you put the category in there and then all of a sudden the category is eating up all the spend. So for my category campaigns, I keep them completely separate for both sponsors products and sponsor display. But I want to show you one, th one thing here. So this is my, again, my more seasonal December account last month, 10 K 10% ACOS. I go to this month and it's already at about 16% ACOS because these just don't sell as well in January and people aren't shopping by category. So that's why I've set the budget super, super low. They're still getting some decent data and maybe some of them are doing okay, but I really dialed them back. Now, on the other hand, I always like to show you guys real life examples, what's working, what's not working. This month, this is one of my January items. We can think of it as a, a health product or a food product. It's something that sells better in January. Now, this month, you're, you're, you're gonna freak out the ACOS, but this month, it's at about 700 in sales at 94% ACOS. But what I wanna show you is that the sponsored product one is already out of budget at about 1130 Pacific, and it's doing way worse. The display one, is what 50 percent lower acos and outperforming that so i don't know which one always performs it's always different on each account but i just want to give you an idea so right now like this um category display campaign is at 71 percent acos right if i look at the whole account this month it's at 70 percent acos it's just one of those health products that's a much higher acos so actually this category campaign 
is in line and I just launched it eight days ago and it's crushing it. So what I'm going to do here in real time is just up this budget to $200 a day and focus on the display one instead of the sponsored products. Now, give me one second here and then I'm going to I'm going to run into how to just create these and show you how easy it actually is. All right, now I'm just going to show you the slight differences in the sponsored in creating a sponsored display category and a sponsored product category. They're pretty straightforward, but first off I want to say this is this is sponsored display, so I'm creating a new sponsored display campaign. I'm going to touch on this later. The views remarketing, there's some new stuff in here. There's some new features. There's also some category targets in there. Right now, I'm talking about this one for sponsored display. Okay, very, very important. And just for your info, these ones do convert better right now. I think they show up in different spots. They've been here longer. Amazon's algorithm is smarter with these ones. So for sponsored display, you're going to choose product targeting. You're going to enter your products. And one quick tip here is if you have a large catalog, you can you can group them. So say you have 10 shirts, right? They're all different variations. I, I like to put them all in one ad group here. I think it gives you more because not a lot of people bid on these ads. It gives you more impressions. You can cover more real estate. OK, so add in your products here. And this is all it is. You're going to go to categories and you can search. So let's let's actually stick with this example. Let's stick with headphones. They are adding so many new categories here. And I kid you not, when I come back month to month, there was always new categories to target. And if you think about it, there's always new keywords. So if, if you're the first one to find a new keyword before your competitors, you can bid on that and no one else is going to be bidding on it. It's the same thing with categories. Car video headphones, I have no clue what that is. If you have something relevant to this, there's probably no one bidding on this category, car video headphones. So come in here and, you know, headphones, earbuds. And I I really like to go crazy. So there weren't any by, by earbuds, but earphones. I like to go crazy. If you are somewhat relevant to these and your product is selling well, bid on these. Okay, really, really bid on them. And that's really it. And then for sponsored products, it's it's pretty straightforward. You do manual targeting, you enter your products, you do product targeting, and it's the same thing. You do categories. Again, I cannot stress enough, do not group these in with your individual products. Keep the category campaigns separate. Search, and these should be the same things. So you see when I type in earphones here in the product in the sponsored products. And I type in earphones here with the sponsor display, they're the same. So what you do is you double down on it. Some people only make one of these, but you want to double down because sometimes they perform differently as with every other PPC campaign. Okay. So this is it. If your product has a really good January, I suggest setting these up. If your product doesn't do too well in the beginning of the year, maybe hold off on these, maybe set them up and give them super, super low budgets and see what categories that you can start ranking for. Okay, so this is the first of many videos. Again, guys, um, look for the Facebook link, start to join that. I'm gonna be posting a lot more content and happy new year.